My name is Zach Orji, and I'd like to encourage you to watch quality Nollywood movies on Sony Reaching Nolly TV. My name is Frederick. My name is Yo, Yo, Edoche. Go and subscribe to Sony Richie Nolly TV. <laughs> My daughter, you will run. <laughs> I will flog this stubborn spirit out of you. Now, flog it. Please. <laughs> 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 Please. What about your boyfriend? I haven't heard from him for a while. And how is that your business? Yeah? I am your brother, remember. I deserve to know, don't I? It's okay. We had little issues, but that isn't the reason he hasn't visited. He traveled. Oh, I see. So, Mr. Quistonia, what hmm? about your girlfriend? I haven't seen both of you lately. Or oh, you guys are still fighting as usual. Why are you laughing? In other news, Chief Alexander Lesser, who is popularly known as Capital Oil, has today donated 1 billion naira to the federal government to help in fighting the COVID 19 pandemic in Nigeria. What? But a bullion must hear this. Did you see that? Of course, I am not blind. But a bullion was here, what? So you actually want to tell Bodo Binna? That capital oil gave the federal government one billion naira so that he could go ahead and splat billions just to show that he's richer. Yes, of course. He needs to hear about this. At least that will affirm the authenticity of our family supremacy over theirs. I'll be with you shortly. What is all this? Why is brother going ahead spending money on things not relevant? There are so many poor people. So many hungry masses he could actually help with this money. Instead of spending it on things that doesn't matter. My God. Open the gates. I want to get something outside. Sorry, my princess. The king ordered me not to open the gate for you. Why? I don't know, my princess. I don't know what is wrong with her days. Hey. What did she see in that boy? Dad. Am I not a prisoner in my father's house? I wanted to go out. But the guard asked me not to, that you instructed them not to ever allow me out of the compound.
sorry, sorry, sorry. Ay! Sorry, sorry, yo. Hey. Is he? Mudo, mudo. Ay! Sorry. They were fair. I didn't ask them to even love me harder. Was she not there? She didn't do anything to help you. She was there. She couldn't do anything. She betrayed me. She promised to stand by me. But she, she abandoned me. Oh, devil. I would never have anything to do with her again. What are you doing here by this time of the night? Please, I don't want your father's troubles. Please, just go back to your royal palace. Please. Brother Kachi, I understand how you feel. Please, let's hear her out. Adeze, what happened? Akachi, I'm sorry I couldn't save you. I took the weeks to come here this night because my father restricted me from leaving the palace. Please, I want to sleep here. Eh? You want to sleep where? No, you can't sleep here. Please, you can't sleep here. If your father finds out I am a dead man, and I don't want his troubles, I still want to be alive. Please. Um, Adeze, you know, as much as I want my brother to marry you, I still want him to leave. He will not die. Please allow me to sleep here. Tomorrow morning we can both leave this village and go to another kingdom. Where we can live happily ever and make beautiful children. Please.
wish you both good luck. <sighs> May the gods be with you. Amen. Akaji. Yes, my king. So after all my warnings, you still went ahead to kidnap my daughter. I, 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 Shut up! <laughs> For carrying out that abominable act, you are hereby banished from this kingdom. Shut up! Oh. Don't touch me. If you are seen within my kingdom before sundown, I will have your head served to the gods. Please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please. Get out! Please, please, I'm sorry. Get out! You know, uh, we are actually supposed to start by 10. I don't know why you people are here this early. Eh? We know, but the accreditation is supposed to start by 10.30. This is just 8.30. We still have like two hours to start, so just keep calm. Uh, keep calm, maintain the single file. Hey, hey, hey. What, uh, what is your problem now? What is your problem? Yes, I am, I am, I am. Hey, shut up. Shut up. Shut, shut. I said shut up. Shut up and keep quiet. I'm only condoning you because it's you. You know the procedures. Eh? You know the process. Allow us to finish with the accreditation. This election will start by 10.30. This is still 8.30. So calm down. Please do. We must do the election. Oh.
Uh, my king, I would have loved us to be present at the polling unit. At least to see how the election is being conducted. Mba, I don't think it's necessary. I must not be there for the people to do the right thing. Ono Wu and the other elders are capable of conducting a free and credible election to select the right candidate for the Okenyi title. It's all right. And besides, if I go there, I may influence their choice, which is not good. You're right, my king. <laughs> What is it? Why are you running a party like this? Igwe, my eyes have seen my ears. Many armed men invaded many polling units and they started shooting sporadically. Igwe, they made their way with many ballot boxes. As I am speaking to you now, Igwe, I am afraid that many of our sons and daughters are dead. Hey. Dead? What are we going to do? What do we do now? Hi! I've lost so many lives as a result of this title. I will make no small. If care is not taken, it's becoming bloody. My eyes. Igwe, I think we should stop now. Let's forget about this Okenyi title that has inflicted much pain on our people. Have you forgotten that this same title has brought smiles on the faces of the indigents of the land? Oh no. With all due respect, what are you saying in essence? Do you know how much blood that was shed? Do you know the lives of our sons and daughters? that was lost for this title. Um, what I'm saying in essence is that we cannot deny these two sons to take the title of Okei. Because they have invested so much in it. One of them must live with the title. One of them must go with the title. All we can do is, we should look into how to resolve the issue and make it more peaceful. That is all. Hmm? Ibe, I tend to support Ono completely as far as this matter is concerned. In the first place, the two men are our bona fide sons. Again, they have invested so much money in this arrest. And they are working for the peace and progress of our community. So our full support to them means that we are going to gain progress, gain harmony, gain everything that is positive and good for our people. Mazadum, a wrong, a woman is running and beholding her breast is a wrong that has no consequence. Amadio Babukwareba. I say Amadio Babukwareba. Don't shut up here. You forget that you should not ever be insulting us. I am entitled to I said it's enough. I'm disappointed. I said enough. How can you be quarreling like this? Igwe, we are sorry. Igwe. Igwe. If I may ask. Who sent those boys to snatch the ballot boxes that resulted in the killing of our people? Both of them are denying sending those boys. Hmm. Igwe, if they are denying it, then did they grew wings and flew into this kingdom? Igwe, my opinion is that we should not try to dwell in the past because the deed has been done. 
rather we should concern ourselves with how to call them to order. And to that we solve our problem. Uh, come to think of it, um, because the William Valentine no and the Capital Valentine no cannot just inflict pain on our people just because of the title. Maybe someone who wants to discredit them did. It is unheard of in this kingdom that gunmen should interrupt any of our functions, let alone a sensitive function as selecting the candidate for the Okenyi title. Alexander. You were. Obina. You were. Who amongst you sent those men? Um, Igwe, you know me as a peacemaker in this kingdom, and uh, I can't resort to Togri in any way. <coughs> Even the least child of this kingdom knows that I'm not a bad person. You see, Igwe, you know, when one is pointing a finger at you, <coughs> three fingers, is pointing back at that person. So, Igwe, the person who is pointing finger at me, you can actually count how many fingers pointing at that person. So I am not a bad person anyway. He is the one. He knows himself. Igwe, you don't have to look at me like that. Uh, it's not me. It's this man here. Even if you conduct the election a thousand times, uh, I'll beat him. I'll defeat him a thousand times. He won't even get one vote. So why do I, why would I grant that? It's not possible. I don't engage in such things. I'm a philanthropist. I help my people. Criminal. How else do you think he made his money? He's an assassin. He made his money through assassination. Now that both of you are denying, so who did it? Igwe. Igwe. The boat denied sending the boys that carried out the shooting. As a matter of fact, they were accusing themselves of being responsible for the action. It will, with all due respect. Even a blind man knows that both of them have a hand in what just happened. Igwe, there is no smoke without fire. I'm in support of what he has just said. But they cannot tell me they know nothing about it. It's not possible. Especially that rascal Lobina who calls himself Bullion Fan. How are you sure that he's responsible for that? Elizabeth is calm, but he could be a wolf in sheep's clothing. He would. Um, let us not dwell in what happened in the past. Uh, like I said earlier, let us consult the SM. Hmm? You agree? I think Ono is right. Capital. The king is about to abort the whole process. Due to the uh, fact that 
guns were shot and lives were lost and properties were destroyed during the process of the election. And all fingers are pointing towards you. Me? Yes. Me, Capita. You know it's not possible. I know. You know I can't do all that. I know. Is it not this boy? What's his name? You people call him Bullion. He has come to Bullion you people. Huh? So I can't do that. See, the idea of Igwe to abort the process of Okenyi title will not work. And I want you to do your work. Thank you. 